know, if you're looking for a politician, be it a governor, judge, Supreme Court justice, a president, a Congress, if you're looking for anybody to heal your land, you're looking in the wrong place. Right. Now, I don't mind saying that nationally. In front of more than 100 people, Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore aimed to stick to the theme of God and country instead of getting political. I don't care how many senators, how many representatives, how many presidents, how many justices on the Supreme Court say that our rights come from a constitution, they come from God, and it's listed in the Declaration of Independence. While Pastor said the event wasn't intended to be a campaign rally, Moore hit on some issues in the nearly 45 minutes at the podium. I want the television to know I do not hate homosexuals. I do not hate transgender people. But I do hate sin. Most importantly, Moore relayed the message that he'll bring his Christian values to Washington. God is sovereign over all. I don't just say this in my little apartment or house. You know, if anybody in Washington wants to hear it, I just said it. A pastor told us that this event was scheduled months before the controversy surrounding Moore. And while he says he did have second thoughts about canceling this event, he says he didn't want the allegations to stop them from hosting this. In Dora, Mary O'Connell, WBTM 13. Eyes were also on the crowd at tonight's Moore rally. It's rumored Jimmy Kimmel has an actor attending the candidate's events disguised as a Moore supporter. Today, Moore tweeted at Kimmel, if you want to mock our Christian values, come down here to Alabama and do it man to man. Kimmel tweeted back, sounds great, Roy. Let me know when you get some Christian values and I'll be there. Kimmel has not confirmed if the man is a